Welcome to Living Cinema Recaps. Today I am going to show you a movie from 2021 titled Ha Bei Jo Ye, meaning the Kingmaker Season 5, theme the Commander, spoilers alert, watch out and take care. The movie begins in Africa where a young woman named Kin Kin Yin Hun was praying but was interrupted by three ugly looking witches persuading her to eat human liver meat, human blood and bitter tears as water claiming she is still one of them. But she refused telling them that the food is not complete without Jesus' flesh and blood then she sent them out authoritatively in Jesus' name. In another scene at Texas, USA, a man named Mr. Bami Dele was staring at nothing and the scene shifts to Africa where man named Har Bei Jo Ye is seen waking from a nightmare and calls a man who turned out to be Mr. Bami Dele his son and warns him of an impending danger ahead telling him to be united with his wife and be prayerful but Mr. Bami Dele seems to count it as one of those regular nightmares judging by the fact that his father is fond of nightmares. We are brought back to Mr. Bami Dele dot trying to stab a woman while the woman calls him the father of someone named Gabo Ye Gal and she wakes up from the nightmare and she turns out to be Mr. Bami Dele wife and she informed the pastor and advised her to be united with her husband. At Africa, the three ugly looking witches are seen casting spells on Kin Kin Yin Hun. And the scene shifts to USA when a man called Mr. Henry was called by a representative of African traditional religion sect based in the States to clarify some issues on the death of three members. It turns out that Mr. Henry was once a member, but gave his life to Christ due to the mysterious death of the members when they tried to attack. Chief Har Bei Jo Ye thought all this happened in the previous season. Mr. Henry tries to explain but Mr. Representative concluded that for him to survive the mysterious death therefore Mr. Henry is the strongest and offered him the post of the vice president of the sect. This left Mr. Henry shocked and confused. Mr. Henry was told to come the next day. Moments later, the pastor called him informing him about an international gospel conference and Mr. Henry was appointed to speak the next day at the conference. But Mr. Henry was cold towards the offer promising to get back to the pastor the next day. In the next scene, Mr. Bami Dele warns his wife about her negligence by taking her job above her home when now in the next day, pastor calls Mr. Henry about the issue only to get the greatest shock of his life when Mr. Henry declares that he is now a member of the sect, and he will continue his past activities in the sect, thanking the pastor for his patronage. In Africa, a chief was to be installed as Hashi Pa and the king must be at the shrine, but unfortunately for them, the king is a born-again Christian leaving the chiefs annoyed when he refused to follow them to the shrine. The pastor at the states called, Chief Harbei Jo Ye, to ask about the latest development about the evangelist he sent to them only to be welcomed by series of stories about a miraculous healing, the baptism and the holy communion. Chief Harbei Jo Ye said, that eating Jesus' flesh and drinking his blood turns him and the others including Kin Kin Yi Hun into the heavenly which making them more powerful than any earthly witches which was funny to the pastor. To cut the long story short, a man named Mr. Demi La Ray visited Chief Ha Bei Jo Ye who turned out to be a husband to a woman named Day Dun and he complained about his wife and it was later. It was later revealed through phone conversation with Day Dun that Mr. Demi La Ray is involved in an extramarital affair with Miss Wu Ra Ola thereby making his wife angry and to leave him for a buja. Chief Ha Bei Jo Ye warns him. Meanwhile, Kin Kin Yin Hun was almost force fed by the witches in her sleep but shouted Jesus' name just in time and was saved from the assault. Scene cuts to the chiefs that wanted the king to follow them inquiring from the oracle priest about the implications of the king disobedience to the gods and learned that the implications are fatal at least according to the gods thereby making Hashipa to be angry and bent on using evil powers to force the king and accepting their demand. Meanwhile, Mr. Henry was appointed as the vice president of the sect and empowered with the power of the ancient and was given his first major assignment which is to punish Chief Ha Bei Jo Ye by attacking his family based in the United States. Watch out for part 2. The Movians, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Like this video this will encourage us to make make Christian movie recap or explain videos like this one. Shalom.